Dear 10-Year-Old Self, You're in 4th or 5th grade, just about finished with the elementary school. Be sure to appreciate all of this as it's happening, because I'll just tell you now, middle school isn't exactly going to be a vacation. The transition into middle school won't be easy, and 6th grade in general isn't going to be that great. But middle school isn't all bad. In that gym class you hate so much, you'll meet someone who'll become one of your best friends, and 8th grade is going to be one of the best years of your life. By the time it's over, you're going to be sad to leave. Do yourself a favor and try not to worry so much about if you're normal compared to everyone else. I promise it's okay to be a 7th grader and never have had a boyfriend. And yeah, it's still okay to be a junior in high school and have the same thing be true. Don't get caught up in what you perceive as milestones of being a certain age. Things happen when they happen and they happen at different times for different people. How it happens and when it happens for you is what's normal for you, so just don't worry about it. There are going to be times when you're feeling really unsure of yourself and unsure of your friendships with other people. But don't fool yourself into thinking that nobody cares about you because it's not true. Throughout the next eight years of your life, you're going to make friends and you're going to lose friends. But there's a core group of people that are never going to leave you no matter what. The people you grew up playing Mario Party and having squirt gun fights with are still going to be your closest friends in high school. And over time, you're only going to get closer. Don't take these people for granted. Be grateful that when other things are crazy and nothing seems like it's ever stable, these people are always exactly where they have always been. On a completely different note, when you're in fifth grade, on Neopets, you're going to create a guild called the Harry Potter Club. You have no idea what this is the beginning of. <laughs> There's so much more I could say, but I think I'll let you take it as it comes. Somehow, I'm confident that you're going to figure it out. Sincerely, you. Shannon, I'll see you tomorrow.